In just seconds, the plane dips at a 90 degree angle, then crashes, followed by an explosion of fire. It would probably be pilot error. Commercial pilot Ken Ramage taking us through this newly released video of the Piper plane crash back in April. Happy. <laughs> All six people on board died. Looking at this video, what would be your best guess as to what caused that crash? I would say uh, that they uh, did a takeoff stall, uh, possibly due to seat consider gravity issues. And Which means weight issues? Uh, weight issues, yeah. Ramage says the six-seater plane typically can't handle the weight of six grown adults. And if they had luggage, that could have been enough to throw off the plane's center of gravity. Five, six, five, three, experience any difficulty? Uh, we're, we're good. We're just the training. But listening to the air traffic control during takeoff that night, there are no signs of distress. Would he have had time to communicate that? The startle factor would not, unless you've practiced and practiced and practiced, it would not give you the opportunity in your mind to hit the mic. Ramage says watching the video, it looks as though the pilot couldn't gain control of the plane to head back to the airport. And because everything caught fire after the plane crashed, NTSB investigators will have a hard time figuring out how much the plane and everything inside it weighed. So Ramage says investigators will have to work backwards to determine the cause. He says watching the video, a tragic outcome is clear. We see it come down, it's obviously a big explosion. Was there any way somebody would have been able to survive that crash? Not normally like that angle. I wouldn't think so. In Scottsdale, Brianna Whitney for Arizona's Family.